My Secret Garden, Women's Sexual Fantasies, by Nancy Friday is a groundbreaking exploration of female sexuality and desire. Published in 1973, this book delves into the intimate world of women's sexual fantasies, shedding light on their hidden desires, fears, and fantasies that are often kept secret due to societal taboos and expectations. One of the key aspects of Friday's work is her emphasis on the importance of understanding and embracing women's sexual fantasies. She argues that these fantasies play a crucial role in women's sexual satisfaction and overall well-being. By revealing and discussing these fantasies, Friday challenges the traditional norms and expectations surrounding female sexuality. The book is structured as a collection of anonymous interviews and letters from women who share their innermost sexual fantasies. By presenting these accounts without judgment or condemnation, Friday creates a safe space for women to explore their desires and fantasies. This approach is not only informative but also empowering, as it encourages women to recognize the validity of their desires and the diversity of their sexual fantasies. One of the recurring themes in My Secret Garden is the idea that women's sexual fantasies are as varied as their individual personalities. Friday dispels the notion that there is a single, universally accepted model of female sexuality. Instead, she highlights the uniqueness of each woman's fantasies, reflecting the complexity of human desire. By doing so, she challenges the stereotypical portrayals of women's sexuality in popular culture and the media. Furthermore, Friday addresses the issue of guilt and shame that often accompanies women's sexual fantasies. Many women feel embarrassed or guilty about their secret desires because they do not conform to societal expectations or traditional roles. Friday argues that these negative emotions are unnecessary and counterproductive, as they prevent women from fully embracing and enjoying their sexuality. She encourages women to liberate themselves from these inhibitions and accept their fantasies as a natural and healthy part of their sexual identity. In My Secret Garden, Nancy Friday also explores the role of power and dominance in women's sexual fantasies. She suggests that many women have fantasies of being in control or, conversely, of being dominated. These fantasies may reflect the complex power dynamics that exist in society and relationships. By acknowledging and discussing these fantasies, Friday highlights the importance of open communication and consent in sexual relationships, promoting healthier and more fulfilling sexual experiences. Another significant aspect of the book is its relevance in the context of feminism and women's liberation. My Secret Garden was published during the height of the women's liberation movement in the 1970s, and it contributed to the ongoing discourse on women's sexual autonomy and empowerment. Friday's work challenges the idea that women should conform to traditional gender roles and expectations and asserts that women have the right to explore and express their sexual desires freely. In conclusion, My Secret Garden, Women's Sexual Fantasies, by Nancy Friday is a seminal work that revolutionized the conversation around female sexuality. By providing a platform for women to share their intimate fantasies and by challenging societal norms and expectations, Friday's book encourages women to embrace their sexual desires and experience sexual liberation. It remains a relevant and empowering resource for women seeking to understand and celebrate their own sexuality, and it continues to contribute to the ongoing discourse on gender, sexuality, and human desire.